Welcome to yet another Adobe Monday. My goal here is to go straight to the point without wasting your time every single week. This is part 36 of this series and today we'll learn how to turn a portrait picture into a statue in Adobe Photoshop. Are you ready? First, you need to mask out a portrait out of the background and remove any details from it. That includes earrings, skin marks or anything from clothes if they contain some kind of color print or anything visually similar. Basically anything that you wouldn't like to have on the final statue. Go to Image, Adjustments, Shadows and Highlights and apply a similar effect to the one shown on the screen. Turn your photo black and white and remove eyebrows and pupils from the eyes. If that sounds weird, remember that we're making a statue. Along the way, apply different adjustment layers to get similar results as seen on the screen. Let's start smudging the whole picture, because stone sculptures don't have all the details like pictures do. Adjust the brightness of specific areas using the brightness adjustment layers and masks. I made one for shadows and another layer for highlights. I also switched to a grey background to easier see what's going on. Add another pair of shadow and light layers where you will be using a brush tool for stronger highlights and shadows. Add a marble texture using the color burn blending mode. I also grabbed a picture of a real statue to use it as a base for my own. Here the important part is to find a spot that blends well. Of course, a few more adjustment layers and another copy of marble texture which I applied to the base. Match the lightning of the base with your sculpture to seamlessly blend them together. I added a color balance adjustment layer to the top to get a slightly blue tint to the whole image to make it as cold as stone. And I finished it off by adding a shadow. And here it is! That was fast, right? All I'm asking you is to like this video and subscribe. There will be more videos like that every single week. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one.